So the highlights for this year are an underlying EBITDA, which is our profitability of 132 million. We disposed of Eddy Stobart Logistics, or a partial disposal, at 124 million. And our dividend, which is a key part of our investor proposition, has increased by 50% from 12p to 18p, which is paid quarterly. So a pretty solid start for the year. We've got three operating divisions, and I'm going to talk about aviation first. Uh, the key to our aviation division is that there's a London capacity problem and our London South End Airport, of which we've got two airports, is going to be a, an answer to that capacity issue. We've got an airport that's uh, capable of 15 million plus airport with investment. We currently have a planning capacity of a five or six million airport. Uh, we already have grown 25% this year so far in the first half. We've got a commitment from EasyJet for the fourth aeroplane. We've got more routes and more capacity from uh, Flybe under a franchise agreement with them. Uh, so it's key to growth in London, and it's a very valuable asset for the group. We've also got a regional airline, which is uh, based in Dublin under an Aer Lingus franchise. It's a valuable franchise uh, with the IAG group. We've got a leasing business, and we've also launched a private jet executive handling business out of London, which we believe will also solve some of the capacity issues for private jets and is going to be quite valuable. And we're also growing our airline services business. Our energy division is our biomass business. Uh, we've got a million tonnes uh, a year now. We have contracts up to two and a half million tonnes. Uh, we're already ahead on our EBITDA per tonne basis, uh, and we're confident we'll hit our targets for both uh, 2022 and calendar year 2018. We've made some really good progress in our rail and civil engineering division. We want some key contracts uh, and we want to continue to grow that business. We have infrastructure and our investments continue to do well and we'll continue to divest of our non-strategic infrastructure to support the dividend. Overall, we've got very clear targets in 2022 for each of our operating divisions. For the aviation business, it's 5 million passengers by 2022. For energy, it's 3 million tonnes. And for our rail and civil engineering business, it's 10 million EBITDA for the business. So that will provide good cash returns for shareholders from 2022 onwards. In the meantime, we've got our investments in infrastructure, which we will divest of to support the dividend, to give good returns for shareholders as well as our people.